In this video, we will cover the topic, finding the average rate of change of a function. In these types of problems, we are given a function f of x and two x values. We are then asked to find the average rate of change from one point to the other point. Let's look at an example. f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 2. And the two x values we are given are x equals 1 and x equals 3. To do this problem, we need to know the equation for average rate of change. Average rate of change is defined in the following way. f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1. Wait a second, where did x2 and x1 come from? The only x's I see are x equals 1 and x equals 3. Good point. The reason we use x1 and x2 is so that we can tell the difference between our two x values. In our problem, let's call x equals 1 x1, and x equals 3, x2. Oh, I see. We give each x value a name so we can tell them apart. This also kind of reminds me of the formula I used to find the slope between two points. Good catch. Finding the slope and finding average rate of change are two similar processes. When we are finding the average rate of change, we are essentially finding the slope of a line passing through the points x1, f of x1, and x2, f of x2. So since we already know our x1 and x2 values, we can begin. We can start by plugging in the x2 and x1 values into our formula. Substituting in our values for x1 and x2, we have f of 3 minus f of 1 divided by 3 minus 1. Next, we need to find f of 3 and f of 1. To do this, we plug those x values into the function. In the case of f of 3, that means that wherever we see an x, we'll put in a 3. And in the case of f of 1, every x becomes a 1. Let's start with f of 3. We can now plug in 3 to the function. f of 3 equals 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 2. 3 squared is 9 plus 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2. 9 plus 9 is 18, minus 2 equals 16. Now, let's do the same thing with f of 1. f of 1 equals 1 squared plus 3 times 1, minus 2. 1 squared is 1, plus 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2. 1 plus 3 is 4, minus 2 equals 2. Now we can plug in the values we found into the average rate of change formula. Recall our formula. f of 3 minus f of 1 divided by 3 minus 1. We found that f of 3 equals 16 and f of 1 equals 2 divided by 3 minus 1. 16 minus 2 is 14 and 3 minus 1 is 2. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. After plugging in our values, we find that the average rate of change in the function f of x from x equals 1 to x equals 3 is 7. Okay, so let me see if I have this straight. We start by labeling our two x values as x, x of 1 and x2. Then we find f of x2 and f of x1 by plugging in the corresponding x values into the function. Once we know the values of f of x1 and f of x2, we can plug those values into our rate of change formula. We subtract f of x1 from f of x2 in the numerator, and then divide that by the difference of x2 and x1, and then we have our average rate of change. That's right. Great job. 